It's March 1st. It's a beautiful evening here in South Carolina. Um, we're out here grilling on Cassie's new toy. Oh, yeah. Tell them about it, baby. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I am a thrift store junkie, and I'm always on the lookout for a good deal or something I've been wanting or needing, and I usually check out the thrift stores first. Well, We've had a gas grill for quite some time, and uh, we haven't had a charcoal in a few years. Quite a few years. Yeah. So. So anyway, <laughs> I uh, happened to pick one up. I found a Weber 22-inch kettle grill for thirty-six ninety-nine or thirty-five ninety-nine. Thirty-five ninety-nine. Thirty-six bucks. What a deal, right? So I, yeah, I looked what up. What a retail buck fifty. As soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah, you know what? It's hundred and forty dollars <laughs> through Amazon or Lowe's, but I'm sure you could probably get it on sale for like a hundred. But still, yeah, yeah. Give she me a break. She brought it home. I'm like, oh, here we go. In great condition. Yeah, Man. she's like, oh, I got something really cool at uh, Goodwill. I'm like, really? You know, <laughs> I've seen this before. Cassie's Good Deals. She brought it out. I was like, wow. Yeah. That's an awesome deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're yeah. cooking some chicken on it right now. Chicken and steaks. And we got four Denver steaks. Check these out. Mm. Uh, looking good. Who else is a thrift store junkie like me? Uh, just uh, throw it in the comments and let me know what your best find has been. We have Miracle Hill Ministries down here. Goodwill. Then there's the new Salvation one Salvation Army, Bin Time. Bin Time from Amazon. Oh, geez, that place yeah. is dangerous. And then you got all the flea markets. I like to do it, too. It's a lot of fun, just not as much as this one. Gassy has still not been on the scale. Ever no. Ever since she saw the 199. I'm staying there. <laughs> I already know I've gained some weight. I just yeah, don't know where I'm at. You, know, and... you don't know where you're at, but if you do a long fast, you're going to gain some weight back. Oh, my gosh. Uh, sweating over here hey we had to move to the other side of the porch guys that grill was getting hot I'm warm i'm still sweating <laughs> you guys know it's been two weeks since i broke the fast i got on the scale this morning and we're going to let you all know what we're eating this month uh but real quick we want to thank all our supporters for the month of february from our buy me a coffee page and our channel members you guys rock roll the footage Everybody, we just want to thank you again from the bottom of our hearts. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And if you want to become a supporter for the month of March, our Buy Me a Coffee link is always down in the description. And we'll throw your name up in lights at the end of the month. We also have channel memberships that you can join today. Button's right down below. Or you can hit subscribe <laughs> and like. That's a way to support us too. Hit the like button. Absolutely. We got to get back over to that grill. But before we do, I did weigh in. Like I said, I am 259 pounds. So I've gained seven pounds, eight pounds back. And uh, I'm happy with that. You know, I lost 19 pounds during the fast. And so what's that put me at? 11 pound loss still. So very cool. I knew I was going to gain the weight back pretty much the consensus for from everybody yeah was you're gonna gain at least half your weight back so yeah the lesson we learned though right yep. I think so she's still under 199 I'm not I'm sure I gained at least half back uh, if not more but I got it done and I feel good about it we've been eating a lot of chicken <laughs> since we broke the fast yep. right <laughs> and uh, we've had a little beef and I mean a, a lot of chicken that's all I can say we've had a ton of it and we've had some pork but uh, I've been messing around with some recipes too, deep frying. Right, we've been eating clean for the most part, but yeah. Dairy. Yeah. Cat. I've had a lot of dairy. Yeah. <laughs> Cream, cheese, you name it. Uh, and this 
definitely been some deep frying involved. Yeah, she's been experimenting with a couple recipes that... It's so good. Huh, you guys got a couple this month that are going to blow you away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so deep frying and lard. And uh, man, it came out good. Jeez. Ooh. The possibilities. <laughs> right? so there's too many. They're endless, so I'll just pick my favorites. It's cool to see her back in the kitchen and experimenting again. Well, that's you one know. thing about carnivore is people tend to say that carnivore is boring. You know, you just eat a steak. I mean, a lot of it obviously is mindset once you believe it's fuel and whatnot. But, you know, sometimes it's just fun to play around. It's like, Especially, wow, right. you're creating a recipe or, you know. Especially if you enjoy cooking. Yeah. You know, uh, I know, I've talked to a lot of people who enjoy cooking, go carnivore, and then they get kind of bored. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, she tries to keep it as clean as possible. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, let me tell you something, you guys got a couple, couple good ones coming your way for yep. sure. Yeah. So we got to head over back to the grill and put these steaks on. Let's go. Look at these beautiful Denver's I picked up from the butcher shop. We've got our nephew coming over for dinner and we're going to treat him to some barbecue chicken and steak. These Denver's are going to be awesome. I can't wait. Steak over charcoal. It's going to be awesome. Amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah. So you have anything uh, special planned to eat this month? Uh, I'm going to eat carnivore, general carnivore, keep my seasonings to a minimum. Uh, pretty much salts only, probably 90% of the time, and uh, that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to hit hit it hard with BBBE in April, we're doing the weight loss challenge. Also this month, I'm going to focus on what I'm eating a little more for you guys, especially the new people. So Cassie and I will be doing like, uh, you know, what we eat in three days or maybe what we eat in a week, a couple of those kind of videos, and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I still don't know what she's going to do. So I'm looking forward to hearing uh, her plans and see if she'll get on the scale. You gonna get on the scale? No. All right, now the spotlight's on you. What are you gonna eat this month? I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. Maybe meat-based, borderline, ketovore, carnivore, I don't know what to label it, but there's dairy involved, but, 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 but. I am going to amp up my exercise routine and I'm going to start doing DDP yoga um, five to six days a week. So that's going to be really interesting. I'm going to go through it the whole month and we'll see what my results are. I am going to measure. So we'll have that. I'll have beginning measurements and end of the month measurements as well. And then, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you, you talked about having... A a few meals with vegetables maybe once a week and checking your ketones see how it affected you is that, that would what be you're... interesting uh, maybe um right now i think i'm just gonna keep sticking with my deep fried carnivore foods and you know i've been using some sauces and not, as far as sauces i've been using sour cream i'll make my own sauce or a little more heavy cream than i probably should be all right gang appreciate you guys stopping by our nephew just got here and we're gonna sit down and enjoy a nice meal with him and our son little air and uh, it's gonna be cool. Oh yeah. Cassie made some cloud bread biscuits. Oh yeah. And uh, mashed potatoes for Blaze, right? Yeah. And so, Larry. Yeah, yeah, and little Larry. It's nice to sit down to a meal with your family and not be tempted by those mashed potatoes. You know, as you get further along in your carnivore journey, foods like that just just becomes easier and easier. Yeah, yep. it just becomes a non-issue. So uh, if you're not there yet, keep going, keep fighting. You'll definitely get there. Again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. We love you all. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, no, no cheating. cheating. Later.